Hey guys, this is SBD Wars 10 here back with a new video. Now today I finally reached 100 daily uploads on my YouTube channel, which is absolutely amazing. I can't even believe that I got to that number and I never expected me to be able to get to that number. I was celebrating myself getting to 10 and then celebrating myself getting to 25 and I thought I was going to slip up and not make it to 100, but I did. There were a lot of close calls and I will talk about later in the video, but I still made it to 100. Now, a lot of the streams that I've made, I started recording at like 10, 11 o'clock p.m., and I kept playing the game until like 3 o'clock in the morning, so most of the streams will say that I ma recorded them on the next day, but I didn't. I started streaming them on the day I was supposed to, but... It's absolutely amazing that I got to that number, and I want to talk about everything regarding it. Now, the first thing is the lazy videos. I know I made a decent amount of lazy videos, and there were some that I'm glad I made, like teasers or trailers or meme videos, because those were fun to make. But the code videos, those were like out of desperation of me being very close to not uploading, and I had to upload those things. And I feel really, really bad that I took up a daily spot with a code video of me just saying, hey, I can't upload. And I absolutely hate that I did that. I am incredibly sorry that I did that. Incredibly sorry. And since I made it to 100 days, I will delete those code videos and all the videos where I said I can't upload. I know there's like four or five videos where I said I couldn't upload some. I will delete them after this video. But I really feel bad that I have I had to get very desperate a couple times. And there's a couple times where I streamed last minute because I didn't have a video ready. Throughout the whole 100 days, my sleep schedule has been really bad because I've stayed up till like 5 o'clock in the morning, and then I slept till like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I woke up, and then I ate dinner around like 4 or 5, because we eat dinner pretty early. So I literally only had like an hour or two to play a video game, and then I ate. And then after that, I had to edit videos and stuff like that. So me waking up in the afternoon is really, really bad. And there were times when I tried to make a schedule by, you know waking myself up at like seven six o'clock in the morning but my body just wouldn't want to move when i make an alarm towards seven eight o'clock my body wouldn't want to move because it's not used to me waking up at that time i used to wake up like that like crazy when i was at school but nowadays i haven't done that in a long time so when i set an alarm my body didn't want to move my body didn't want to wake up I had my eyes open, but I didn't move at all, and I ended up just falling back asleep like 10 seconds after, which really sucks. So my sleep schedule has been absolutely horrible. So with that added and a bunch of other things added, I couldn't upload until like last minute, which sucks. Now, a lot of the times I kind of do things last minute, and that's my fault. Because I'm kind of somebody that always does things last minute, and that's really, really bad for being a YouTuber, because if you do things last minute, then you don't know what's going to happen. Your internet could flicker off, or you realize that you edited a video wrong, or you titled something wrong, or you kept something into the video that you didn't want to be kept in. There's a lot of things to take account of when you're doing it last minute. You have to get it absolutely perfect first try if you're doing it last minute, which... In most cases, I have been doing that because I double check, triple check. I, I'm i somebody that makes sure I'm very thorough with my videos and my titles, making sure everything's spelled right, making sure that the edits are good by watching the video over, over before I upload it. I make sure. But even then, like even if I make sure, there could be a mess up or two happening. And... Me doing it last minute is really, really bad. I mentioned that in a previous video where I had an issue where I did things last minute and I've been trying to improve on it every every little day. And I have been improving on it sometimes. There's a couple videos in these daily uploads that have been uploaded at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which is very, very early. 
And I'm glad I was able to improve my sleep because of the daily uploads. But I feel really bad that I still had to do a lot of desperate videos or desperate streams because I couldn't upload in time. So for any people that want to do daily uploads, my advice is to always set an alarm and make sure it's an alarm that you know that you will wake up from. And you have to make sure that you get used to the routine of waking up early because my body was not, was not at all. And my body refused to want to get used to this pattern that I'm trying to make for myself to make things easier. So if you want to do daily uploads, you have to practice with your sleep ahead of time. And make sure you don't things, do things last minute like I do. And always make sure that your internet is fine. There were a couple times that I streamed and the internet just crashed. And I'm like, oh, well, I have to restart the stream now. <laughs> And that leads me to my second point, which is streaming. I streamed a lot. A lot more than I wanted to, to be honest. I don't mind streaming. I love streaming because it helps me talk to you guys and gals in real time, or mostly real time. And it helps me interact with you all in ways that isn't pre-recorded. And I can play games live, show my live reactions so that I don't want to seem like I'm faking anything with pre-recorded stuff and I love streaming I love it so much however I streamed a lot more than I wanted to there was a video a couple months ago where I said that I was gonna cut down on streaming where streaming was just gonna be once a month however do the daily uploads I didn't get a video done and I kept streaming and there were some times that I was like oh I really don't want to stream right now and that sucks I kept putting off making videos or my sleep schedule kept ruining things to the point where I had to stream and sometimes I'm just not in the mood to stream. There were a lot of the streams that I've played where I just wasn't in the mood. There was a lot of times where I played Doom Eternal and I just started the stream and I'm like okay I kind of regret doing this. Beca not because of me playing the game, not because of you all, but because of my mentality. Because there were a lot of moments where I just didn't want to upload, didn't want to stream, didn't want to do anything. And that's really bad considering I made a plan to do daily uploads but aren't motivated to do, do daily uploads. So I was kind of on a predicament where I had to upload a video ahead of time to get it done if I don't want to stream. Because streaming takes a lot out of me because I know I stream for like an hour or more. And streaming for an hour or more, that takes off a lot of your energy, especially if you're not an energetic person. Especially if you're kind of an introvert, not somebody who is always excited, not somebody who always talks like crazy. Considering I had to talk like two, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, it's fine. Because me being a YouTuber playing a video game, it's fine on that sense. But it's also very emotionally draining. Because I wanted to do a bunch of projects like Glitchy Paradise and many other things. And I kept putting it off because after streaming I was like, oh, I just want to go to bed. And then before I stream, I like didn't do anything. I was watching YouTube. I was playing video games. I was enjoying my time. And that's really bad as well. Me distracting myself. A couple days into the daily uploads, I think like at day 70 or something, I like didn't want to upload anything, didn't want to stream anything. Well, I kind of did want to upload stuff, but considering I didn't have enough time to upload and or wasn't motivated to edit a video, the only option I had was to stream and I didn't want to do that at all. But I know that I had to. I kept waiting till like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock to decide if I want to make a video or edit. And then I realized, oh, it's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. There's no way I'd be able to edit a video in time. I have to stream. So if anybody is watching this and wants to be a YouTuber yourself, my advice is to make sure that you have a plan for how much you want to stream and how much you want to upload and make sure you stick with it. Because if you change it and stream more than you want to, or upload more videos like twice a day instead of once a day, 
when you know for a fact that it's going to hurt you. Just do whatever is comfortable for you and whatever is best for your mentality. Because I wanted to do daily uploads so badly, and I'm glad I did daily uploads. I'm absolutely glad, but because I kept streaming so much, I was so emotionally drained that I didn't want to keep going sometimes. And I'm glad I, I glad I fought through that and kept going anyways. Now, there is a, like I said, there's going to be a couple videos that I'm going to be deleting, like the code videos, me not uploading. There's a couple of streams that I unlisted or privated because I just really didn't like them. And I was going to delete those as well. I know there was a, an Uno stream I did a couple weeks ago, or if not a month ago, where me and Jimmy played Uno for like three hours. And we were absolutely tired. We were bored. We didn't like it. Jimmy Jimmy was like singing for like a good hour and a half. And like that was all that you heard was him. And I was saying nothing because I was absolutely bored. And not only that, but like the chat wasn't really the best out at that day that it was pretty toxic. Which the person who was pretty toxic, I forgave them because, you know, they apologize and stuff. But out of everything weighing it together, I just didn't like that stream at all because I was completely miserable. I didn't like it. So that one's going to be deleted as well. I'm probably going to make a Uno number 5, an actual Uno number 5 another day. And the other ones that I'm going to delete are my birthday streams because I am replaying the game that I streamed on my birthday that ended up messing up like five, six times. So I'm going to delete all those. I know I didn't complete a couple other games like... uh Cartoon Network Battle Crashers, Dead Rising, Doom Eternal. There's like three, four games that I haven't beaten all the way on my channel. And I want to do that eventually, like next week or the week after. I do. I did play the rest of Battle Crashers. I think I've mentioned that in a couple videos before. And I still don't know how I'm going to format that video because the audio was really bad. And plus, it's not really such an impactful game. It's pretty like self-explanatory. Not really huge in story. So if anything, I could just combine like five different gameplays into one video and make it like 20 minutes. But I I don't know yet. But that's on my that's on my account as well, all privated. Me beating the game is all privated, so I just have to download them and re-edit them and then re-upload them. Which I will do that eventually. I keep saying that I'll do it and I keep pushing it aside. And uh, that's another problem of mine is that I kept pushing things aside. Whether it's projects, whether it's just videos, whether it's streaming, whether it's things that I should have done that I said I was going to do. I kept pushing so many things aside and or kept forgetting about them, which is really, really bad. I have like a memory issue where I forget things very easily. So I tried my best to improve on that over time with schedules and with writing stuff down in notes. But for other people who want to do what I want to do, like do daily uploads, just make sure that you're very careful about it. Never, ever give up. If you want to do daily uploads, absolutely never give up. I myself have wanted to have wanted to give up like at least two, three times during the whole 100 days. But I decided not to because I realized, why should I give up? I'm just playing video games for like 20, 30 minutes to an hour and then record editing it and then uploading it although that can be emotionally draining that's not nearly as bad as what a lot of people have to go through so i should this is my dream job this is my passion this is something i really want to do so i should not give up on it and that is what other people should do as well if you want to do something like do daily uploads on your channel or make a youtube channel just in general do not give up on it absolutely do not i made it to a hundred days on my daily uploads because I did not give up. I wanted to keep going no matter what was in my way. I kept uploading. Even if I couldn't upload because the internet was down, I still found a way to upload a video. Either using inter either using my phone data or using some other reason, I always found a way to do daily uploads. That is the type of dedication, that is the type of motivation that you should get in your own passion. It doesn't have to be making YouTube videos. It could be anything. Do not give up on your passion and always be determined. Show, prove to yourself how much you want this. And I did myself during this entire time. 
I really want to be a YouTuber one day. And because it seems like the most fun, interactable job, and it seems like something that I would absolutely love because I love entertaining people. I love giving them content, especially in a time like this where the virus is happening. The reason I made the daily uploads is one, – one of the reasons is because of the virus. I decided, hey, I'm sitting at home doing nothing, so why not make daily uploads for the people that are struggling so that they can cheer up and – be a little happy in times where the world is all gloomy. And I hope I succeeded in that in some way, shape, or form. And I'm really, really happy that I made this goal, and I will keep trying to do daily uploads as much as I can. I still have a schedule going. I do have a schedule going for this week and next week, and I'm going to try my best to succeed in that goal. Now, it's going to be really hard because I'm going to do Glitchy Paradise, which is a really really high production video that's going to be like 20, 30, 40 minutes, maybe longer. I don't know how long it is. I hope it's going to be like 30 minutes because it's a, I'm going to make sure it's not an hour long, but it's going to be a long video of my dialogue and me talking, which if you saw my previous videos, you'd know that me talking is kind of an issue. So I've been working really, really hard in Glitchy Paradise and that might take up time and might take up space on other videos so i'm going to try my best to continue with the daily uploads if i don't manage to do so that's i apologize and i will let you all know ahead of time and i will make sure that i upload at least four to five videos a day or a week <laughs> not a day that's way too crazy but four to five videos a week if not daily uploads that's my new schedule that's what's going on. If I can't upload on the weekends, I won't upload on the weekends. I've been doing really fine with the weekends nowadays. There was a couple lazy videos like the Animal Crossing stuff. Although they were pretty fun to make, they were kind of lazy. But that's because I was incredibly busy and could not edit a video, nor could I stream. So I had to resort to something. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that content, at least. Although they were lazy videos, I hope you enjoyed them anyways. Because I tried my best to make the content enjoyable and really fun to make, and not just make it like a, oh, I can't upload today type of video, because I already made like five of those. And I really wanted to entertain you all and make you all laugh and make you all smile. And make you all be interested in the video. That's why with the Animal Crossing video, I had a secret message, secret message which is what I want to talk about now. And it's that... During my daily uploads, I did secret messages. I absolutely loved doing secret messages. I saw a couple people were really interested in it. And I've been doing secret messages for like the past couple weeks. <laughs> Some people have been only noticing the ones that went in the video. Some people have only been noticing the stuff that's been in the description. But there's, there's a couple other secrets that I put in videos. Not like directly in videos. I may have put a secret in the video tags, which the only way you can see the video tags is if you download like Social Blade or something. And I also put secrets in the description of videos, which a lot of people don't read. I put it at the very bottom, which some people miss out on. The only ones that I've seen people actually see is the ones in the videos, which that's not all that is going to be. And I hope in the future I'm going to create more fun secret messages. It's not just going to be Morse code and binary. I'm going to add more secrets in the future. Because I absolutely love adding secrets and Easter eggs and seeing people find them out and seeing people um, be surprised by what it is. And yeah, just look forward to more secret video videos or secret things in the future. You have to be very thorough because some can be very, very secretive. I can I can have a message in a frame or have anything. So watch out for that. <laughs> if you guys are really good at finding secrets in things like whether it's binary or Morse code or getting a message based off of just random sounds... Or even decrypting an image. Now, 
thank you everybody for subscribing. Thank you everybody for watching my content. Thank you everybody for sticking around. In the span of a hundred days of my daily uploads, I have gained many subscribers. And I went to 250 subscribers, which I didn't even think was possible. I didn't expect me to be able to do that. I think before I started daily uploading, I had like 200 or less. I don't remember. I think it was like 216. So the fact that I went from 216 to 254 in 100 days, or at least I think so, is absolutely amazing. And I love that I did that. I love that I was able to get viewers and get content just by uploading. And thank you everybody for sticking around. Thank you everybody for watching my content. Thank you everybody for believing in me and knowing that I can make daily uploads. Thank you for everybody who kept cheering me up and trying to help me get my mojo back as best you can. Thank you for joining my streams and having a laugh with me and having jokes and having fun. Just thank you everybody for watching my content. Thank you everybody for being a part of this little community that I have. And I'm so, so happy that I was able to succeed in this goal. It's unbelievable. There were, like I said in the, before, there were a lot of problems that happened. And I will fix mostly all of them as best I can in the span of a few weeks. And there will be huge projects coming up in the next couple days that I hope you all will look forward to. But I'm just so happy that the stuff that I accomplished during, during these daily uploads is just amazing. The Minecraft funds you all loved. You all loved the other streams and the other videos that I made. I never wanted to be a Minecraft YouTuber. I wanted to be somebody who played Minecraft. I wanted to be a YouTuber who played Minecraft, and you all were fine with that. You all were fine with me playing other content, and a lot of you even watched my content that wasn't Minecraft. Which, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that so much. And I just... I can't believe that I managed to get this far. You know, like before when I was doing daily uploads, I never, I always said, okay, maybe I'm going to get to 25 or 50, but there's no way I'm going to get to 100. And I did. And there were a lot of YouTubers that kind of inspired me to want to get to 100 daily uploads. And I'm glad that I was able to achieve my personal goal. And I don't have any more of a personal goal of daily uploads if i get to 250 that's going to be absolutely crazy there's n because like in the span of all my youtube videos i only created 300 and like 10 or something so the fact that one third of my videos are from daily uploads is absolutely crazy Back in 2017, 2018, I hardly uploaded, like, at all. I think in 2016, 2017, I only uploaded, like, two to three videos a year. And then 2017 to 2018, I think I uploaded, like, 10, 20, and most of them were glitch clips. A lot of them were just random videos. Once I got this PlayStation 4, I started streaming more. But even then, I didn't upload as nearly as much as I am now. And... I love that I was able to progress and get better. I couldn't have done it without all of you. You all inspired me. You all made me sit back and realize that people actually want my content and make me made me want to continue. There were a lot of times where I was like, I don't really want to upload. Because maybe nobody cares. Maybe nobody will watch it. Sometimes I see my views di dip. I see my views dip. And I see my subs dip. And I think. Maybe they don't like my content anymore. 
minute maybe I'm making content that isn't enjoyable but every single time I upload just one comment just one person at least one person in my streams stuff like that makes me change my mind makes me realize that there actually is people that watch me that there actually is people that enjoy me and this daily uploads was a goal that I wanted to make because of you all and I'm glad I was able to do it and the main reason I did it is because of is for you all although it's a personal goal of mine my main objective was to create as much content as I can for you all and I even edited videos and put music in them and made them as best as I can just so you all would enjoy it so I want to thank you all so much for sticking around I I made another thank you video like when I hit 250 subs but I can't stop thanking you all for all that you've done and I will keep thanking you all until the day I die or the day I quit YouTube which I don't think will ever happen no matter what happens with YouTube unless YouTube themselves get shut down I'm gonna keep doing YouTube and try to adjust to the algorithm try to do the best that I can with the uploads and no matter what my motivation is I'll always at least try to make some sort of content for you all And I am so glad that you all stuck around. I'm so glad that you all shared my videos with others. You liked my videos. You subscribed. You were looking forward to future videos. You were looking forward to the secrets I make. You were looking forward to talking to me, speaking to me, doing things with me. It's absolutely amazing. And I made a hundred daily uploads for you all, and I'm so glad that I was able to do it. <laughs> I'm just happy. <laughs> There's so many emotions that I feel right now. None of which are regret. I don't regret a thing. I don't regret anything. The code videos, maybe. But even then, the code, some of the code videos I tried to make a little fun. Tried to even make a meme out of the code videos. I tried to make light in such a desperate time. Tried to be funny about it. And... It's unbelievable. That... I even have viewers that I even have people that enjoy my content because a few years ago I didn't have that. I was just making YouTube videos for myself and for my cousin because those were the only two people that I knew watched my content. I was stuck at 50 subscribers for like good two, three years. And the reason I had 50 subscribers is because of videos that weren't even mine that I ended up deleting because I didn't want to make content that wasn't mine. I wanted to make, I wanted to make content that was 100% original. Well, not really original. I play gaming videos, but you you know what I mean. Like 100% mine, 100% authentic. And I hope I managed to do that for the 100 videos that I uploaded. And I'm proud of myself for once. <laughs> I'm, I can be proud of myself every once in a while, but right now I'm like extremely proud of myself for what I accomplished. Beating a video game, that's fine. Completing a video game, that's fine. Doing very simple tasks, that's fine. But actually doing one of my goals that I was extremely passionate about and I succeeded in that, that's something to be really proud of. That I pushed through all my doubts, all my insecurities, all my sadnesses, all my lack of motivations, and I kept pushing forward. 
because of you all, for you all. And I am so, so happy I managed to make it to this point, and I will continue to make content for all you all. I don't know what else to say during this video. It was kind of at the beginning of the video, is kind of me talking about my journey and my problems, and talking about any advice I would give. But now it's just me being sentimental and me being mushy. <laughs> but thank you. I tried to leave this. I'll try to leave this video as unedited as I possibly can, but I will edit a few things to make it structured better. But thank you, everybody, for watching. If anybody wants to do a passion or a goal, honestly, just go for it. Go for it. You'd be surprised at your abilities. You may think that you won't be able to do it or won't be as good as it as you think you will. But you will be able to make it. And although you may be stumbling, or you, though you may fall, although you may not be perfect, although you may mess up a couple times, just getting up and continuing and not giving up is all that matters. Because eventually you will succeed in your goals. And that's what I did. I stumbled. I fell. I made a lot of desperate videos. I kind of didn't want to upload it sometimes. But I pushed through. And I'm glad I did. And that's what everybody should take away from this, is that no matter what happens, no matter what happens in the world, your goals, your passions are still important. There are a lot of other things that are happening in the world that are really important, but that doesn't mean that your life and the things that you're going through and the things that you want to do are unimportant. You shouldn't push everything else aside because the world is in shambles. Unless you physically can't do the goals and the passions you want to do, like bungee jump or go in a large crowd or have a be in a concert because of stuff like that, you can't actually do that with the virus going on. But other than that, if you can do it, go for it. If you're having a problem, don't be afraid to try to solve it as best you can. Your life is important. Your problems, your issues, your goals, your passions, everything about you is still important. No matter what is happening to others in the world, you're still important and never forget that. You will be able to succeed in anything you wish to succeed in. If I can make 100 daily uploads, if I can do this one passion that I haven't done, in four years, you can do anything, honestly. And although my, the thing that I did isn't huge, it's not the biggest thing ever, I didn't win the Nobel Peace Prize, I didn't win the Grammy, I didn't win the Oscars, I didn't, it's not, it's not something huge, huge, but it's still big enough to show that anything can be possible, if you put your mind to it. And... I'm just so glad that I was able to make it, and I will continue to make content for all of you all. And if I can't upload on days that I want to, I will let you know. Either by YouTube, or by Twitter, or by Instagram. Which some of you are following me on Twitter and Instagram, which I appreciate that. If you aren't, that's fine. Some of you may not use it, and so feel it's unnecessary. But... The people that are following me and see the tweets or the pictures that I make, thank you. And, yeah. I kind of, I think I said all that I wanted to say. If I'll say more, then I'll include more into the video. But, yeah, this, my journey has been pretty big these 100 days. It felt quick. It felt really, really quick. And... Sometimes it felt too quick, but I'm glad it still happened. The time is really important, and that's something that I have to be more organized with. And there's a couple other things that I want to do with my life, and I will do it one day.
like I want to j learn Japanese. I just recently started getting a notebook and a pencil and started learning Japanese. Which is going pretty well. It's not going super well because I still have other things to do, so I haven't really focused on learning Japanese a lot, but it's still a little hobby of mine to do once I have videos done and have nothing to edit. So, I do have other hobbies, I do have other passions and other goals. YouTube isn't the only thing. I'm not super, super addicted to YouTube, and if I don't have it, I'll be devastated. I do have other hobbies and other things to do, like gaming and uh, many other things, but YouTube is my favorite one. YouTube is my most important one. And I will never give up on it. I will never give up on all of you. And the journey may have been rough, but it was a well-spent journey. So, thank you everybody for watching. This, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneezed during this video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I hope this used you up in some way. And, yeah. See you tomorrow.